All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, super exciting news because our favorite Tesla inventory tracking website with all the best discounts is back. It looks like they're going through some phases because Tesla is trying as hard as they can for some reason to hide all of their discounts and make you go to the website. So we're going to take a look at that plus a variety of interesting topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. My name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check out Patreon link down below in the description. So the best place to look and find discounts these days is tesla.com. But if you are a fan of the channel, you know that the other best website, which has been going through some rocky changes because Tesla, for some reason, has tried to hide their discounted inventory, hide their inventory accounts from Tesla, all these different Tesla tracking sites. So going to waitingfortesla.com, this site was down for the past few days. You could not see any of the inventory that was actually posted on tesla.com and you couldn't see any of the discounts. But it looks like now we've got some discounts coming back onto the page. We've got right here on the this smack tab in the middle. We've got a pretty nice discount for that for that sake. Almost five thousand dollars off a 2023 Tesla Model Y long range, over fifty one hundred dollars off, and that's really the price point that I'm saying these days. If you can get a Model Y or Model Three with a five thousand dollar price off discount, then it might be worth it to try and scoop it up. Of course, stack that with a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. You can get an extra five hundred to a thousand dollars off. So definitely click. Check it out down below in the description. But you can see the discounts are back. You can see that we can now see them on a better scale of all where they are at all at. But this waiting for Tesla is just a third party aggregator site. When you're ready to try and select one of these, the hardest part of this is you got to find one that's in your local market. You cannot pick one that is in a different state. Tesla does not like shipping and they won't ship. And the only way to try and do that is trying to link down to the actual actual page and see what actually could be in your local area. But the best way is still kind of to go to tesla.com and see where the inventory is, put in your zip code and see if it's actually available. It is a little bit of a hunt, unfortunately, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what you're looking to do is uh, you're trying to find one and also it's going to be, these discounts are going to be coming back at the end of this month and also at definitely at the end of September because it's at the end of September, that's going to be the last month of the quarter. So it's certainly all the discounts are going to be coming back. So patience might be a good thing, but at the same time, Tesla interest rate Rates might still continue to go higher and higher and you know if the fed keeps increasing the interest rates so just definitely be aware of that but we're going to jump into the next topic but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link double in description the patreon link to support the channel so definitely check it out if you are interested Juan, thanks for coming in. Welcome back. Charles, how do you add the Tesla referral code to waitingfortesla.com? It's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is go to the Tesla referral code, click it open down below in the description first, then head on over to Waiting for Tesla, find any vehicle that interests you, click the reserve button. You can see that that links you to the tesla.com site. You can see the referral code is applied. You got the check mark, and then you're ready to go ahead and place the deposit and reserve that vehicle. So as long as you have that green check mark, then you are good to go. All right, what else we got? Happy, what is it, Saturday? Happy Saturday, everybody. In this next topic, we're all excited about the Tesla Model 3 Highland refresh, but now there's been a discussion and or rumor that what if this Tesla Model 3 Highland is going to be 
low $27,000, maybe even $30,000 before incentives and fees like that. So let's walk through it. Let's go through a couple posts that we found to kind of justify and explain why some people are thinking that. But before we do that, if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So it all kind of started with this. The other day, this Tesla Model 3 interior door card got leaked, and people were speculating, why is this door card just a little bit more of a cheaper feel than the previous versions. You can see that the Tesla interior card used to be an Alcantara like suede type of material. And now we're going to this speed cloth type of material that is commonly found in like cheaper vehicles. So and people are speculating that what if this updated fabric is actually going to be because of cost reductions, which we already knew that, and report because of a different style of interior. So shout out to James Cat on X. I found this post. Quote, so first reaction, this looks cheap regarding the interior. But cheap isn't great for a car starting at $40,000 or even $32,500 after the tax credit. Quote, but then I started thinking, perhaps the rumors that Tesla make price, this below current price is actually credible. After all, a low price paired with upgrades on the battery higher range, computer hardware for, and a refreshed exterior would offer a compelling value proposition as Tesla works both side of the equation. Value equal perceived benefits slash price. So what it's really getting to is what if Tesla is preparing to drop and release a cheaper Model 3 that is going to take over the competition, really undercut all all the different electric vehicles and all the different vehicles so that it really makes it a no-brainer to drive a Tesla Model 3. On top of that, dropping the price of the current one, making it a slam dunk for anybody looking to buy a vehicle because Tesla already knows this. Tesla already knows that their vehicles are pretty expensive, that as interest rates start to go higher, they have to add more discounts out there. And that's why commonly, you can see right now on the Model 3, there are price discounts anywhere from three, four, even 5000 thousand dollars off couple that with a tesla or referral code just like the one down below in the description you can save another extra 500 to a thousand dollars off and so i found this post from christopher dungeon an avid twitter poster or ex poster about the Tesla news quote calling it now Tesla Model 3 Highland starting price before federal and state incentives twenty seven thousand four hundred and ninety for real wheel drive I mean that is super low that is definitely super cheap I mean currently he's kind of basing this off of the rumored starting price out of China which is two hundred RMB which converted to the U S that's twenty seven thousand six hundred and thirty seven dollars but we already know that Tesla vehicles are much cheaper in the Chinese market already. So there's going to be some sort of conversion up higher. But what if the starting price of the Tesla Model 3 is going to be in that $37,000 range as it's kind of at right now? If we take a look at the price history charts of Model 3 standard range, the lowest price that the Model 3 standard range has ever been ever was $36,000. 990. So we're kind of already at there with these current inventory discounts, especially if you factor in the Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. So the pricing could get even more aggressive as we get closer to a release. But I really feel like Tesla could price the Model 3 standard range Highland a little bit higher because of all the hype and FOMO, If especially if it comes out in the Chinese markets first. But we'll, we'll leave it to Tesla and let it see because we'll see. I guess I'm more curious on what pricing the Cybertruck is going to be because if Tesla releases this Cybertruck and it undercuts everybody else out there in the competition in terms of the truck market, then it is certainly certainly going to get very, very, very interesting with the Model 3 Highland because if that's Tesla's pricing strategy, then they'll certainly going to try and make waves and take over any of the market share that they've lost and also take over market share for the full entire vehicle market at the end of the day. So let me know what your thoughts on it. Do you think the Model 3 is going to be cheaper than it actually is the current pricing of the Model 3 or do you think it's going to be the same price or do you think it's going to be even more expensive? But we're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. 
If you're looking for someone to ask questions about buying a Tesla and how to get the best deal, you can do that at the, my, my Patreon link down below in the description. And after you join, you can schedule a phone call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla, some even as low as 2.99 to sub 4%. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. Mike, welcome in. Thanks for coming in. This means that regular silver black model Y with demo miles on it will be in the 40 to 42 range come end of September and 34 to 36 for the three. I would not buy anything until then. Yeah, 100% Mike. Like if they're already doing crazy discounts like this now in terms of on the inventory pages, then it's another month, another 30 days until the end of the quarter. And we know at the end of every single quarter, there is better deals on the Tesla website. So if you can wait, if you can hold fast and the interest rates don't affect you, you might as well wait at the end of the day. All right, what else we got? In this next topic, it looks like the Tesla Cybertruck suspension got leaked and or exposed because someone was able to find a Cybertruck and take pictures of the suspension. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out, shout out to Electric. They posted this. First look at the Tesla Cybertruck suspension. We can see some uh, nice, very nice pictures of someone who actually found a Tesla Cybertruck off of the side of the road. We don't know what we're actually looking at, but there are some some things that looks like they were able to find out. Well, it remains to be seen how they manage the difference in travel in terms of the hydraulic system because it is not using a hydraulic system like the Rivium's. It's using an anti-roll bar. Quote, the, the rear lower A arm is in two pieces of welded steel, different to the castings at the front. However, it just might be a proto prototype way to test form and function. The one thing we do know with the Tesla Cybertruck is that it, you will be using air suspension, which is really nice. It's also found in the Model S and the Model X, but not in the Model 3 or Model Y. Another observation they were found, there seems to be an actuator modifying the dampening dynamically, at least for the, the rear, but not for the front too, which is perfect for a vehicle that is made to carry loads. Quote, overall, I'm surprised by the simplicity of the system. When there's simplicity, there's also general robustness too. Pretty pretty nice, pretty, pretty interesting to see. Hopefully this is a final product or maybe it isn't, but really cool to see and pretty excited that the Tesla Cybertruck will be coming out very soon. But let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump into the next topic. But thanks for coming in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. We got to figure out what we're giving away. Uh, whoops. Actually, there was another spotting of cyber trucks, but we'll just quickly. There was three cyber trucks spotted in New Zealand for winter testing. So hopefully and yeah, we're getting close. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, hopefully they won't do some sort of botched. They Hopefully they actually delivered cyber trucks to customers and not just like a handful of customers. I mean, but who knows? It might just be like 20 customers in September or the end of the year when they actually do this Tesla cyber truck delivery event. <laughs> In this next topic, we'll talk about the Tesla upcoming discount for potentially the Tesla Model Y because Model Y inventory appears to be up 40% in the past few days. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to... Steve Currens or Beagle Knights on X, Tesla Model Y inventory is out of control, quote, up 40% the last two days and 75% in the last week. Haven't seen anything like this since it was started tracking in March. Chaos is raining at this company. They need a huge price cut, but it's not happening. Quote, where is the CEO? So we've got some sort of tracker here based upon some sort of spreadsheet and table, but we can see here on August 10th, there was 895 Model Y somewhere posted in the inventory. And now on August 12th, there's 1,250. So it seems like 
the Tesla production is actually ramping up at a pretty high speed. We can see for the Dallas market, it's up from 242 units to 337. So inventory is up and up and up. You can see on July 19th, it was at 594 units from whatever data set this is coming from. But this could be pretty interesting. And oh, this is also ramping up to be a very interesting time because we know that in the end of the month for August and also the end of the quarter, which is going to be the third quarter for September, we know there's always some sort of price incentives or price discounts. And right now, we're already at a stage where the inventory discounts are at the four to $5,000 mark. So if Tesla starts to get more, even more aggressive with all the different stops, I mean, they already have a referral program where you can get $500 off plus three months of full self-driving, especially if you use the Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. And inventory discounts are already at four to $5,000 discounts. So in an upcoming discount, an upcoming inventory discount might be coming soon in the very near future, but I don't think Tesla is going to adjust any sort of the inventory prices, or sorry, in any of the MSRP prices. I think they got a slap on that hand already in the past few months, but when they're fluctuating MSRP prices too much because that does a lot of scary stuff for banks that are financing, maybe even insurance companies and things like that. So I think that's why they've pivoted quickly to just changing inventory prices. But taking a look at the inventory price tracker or MSRP price, or MSRP price tracking for all the different years that Tesla has sold the Model Y, we are already at the lowest price it's ever been ever in terms of starting price for MSRP, especially if you factor in inventory price. So it's definitely going to be a very interesting time if Tesla Tesla decides to go even deeper with their inventory discounts. But what more than likely will happen is they will add more incentives for people looking to buy a Tesla. So they'll probably bring back free supercharging that they've done in the past. They've done option credits. Will they'll waive certain fees for uh, something that you don't exactly have to try and get you to upgrade and take delivery ASAP. We'll probably see all the different inventory stops and inventory discounts in the very near future. So if you can wait for just another 30 days, I know that's saying a lot because the Tesla financing rate and, and also all these different credit union banks and interest rates might keep rising at the same time, but it might be worth it as if you can potentially get another one to two thousand dollar discount. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. Respond to the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And anybody in the SoCal area, I might go to this open house tomorrow at Tesla Club SoCal and Parts 3S Express. It seems like a Tesla modified shop. I actually inquired with them a few days or a few months ago when I bought the Model X because I wanted to get an alignment, which I always recommend every brand new Tesla owner to get. But if you're in the area, if you're in SoCal and if you got time tomorrow, maybe I'll see you here at this event. Just come out, definitely say hi. I might drop by. It's pretty close. So maybe we'll swing by from 10 to 12. 12 p.m. But thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.